Up next, cracking down on counterfeit drugs. How an edible security tool is being used to take on the illegal industry. We see barcodes these days on just about everything we buy. There's a local company that makes those codes edible, not so much as a tasty treat, but to make food and drugs safer. Manolo Morales reports. The pharmaceutical market has an estimated value of $800 billion worldwide. About 10% of the market is considered counterfeit. So this is an $80 billion counterfeit market. I mean, counterfeit incorporated, so to speak, uh, much bigger than any corporation we know of that's legitimate. Preventive measures are taken with more secure packaging, but a Hawaii company called True Tag Technologies wants to add an extra dose of security by putting what's essentially edible barcodes on every pill. And we sprinkle a few of these, think of like a sugar donut on a tablet, so that an inspector can take a True Tag reader and read those little grains of sugar, so to speak, the True Tags, and tell it has a unique optical signature. Each coated tag is smaller than a grain of sugar. It's made of silica, found in many food items, and FDA approved. Each one carries a unique spectrum of colors that is detected by a reader, which looks like a microscope. TrueTag developed the reader, which will also be provided to the pharmaceutical companies, and eventually to the pharmacists. Uh, as long as they have a line of sight, they can read our tags and validate with their security teams, their QA teams who are around the world, making sure the supply chain is safe. TrueTag Technologies recently won the grand prize at the prestigious Launch Silicon Valley 2011 conference. The so-called edible barcodes can also be used for high-priced food items that are being counterfeited. Especially in the high-end wines and high-end foods like caviar and, and, and high-grade sashimi and sushi. The company is currently working with a pilot partner which is using the tags on nutritional supplements. If all goes well, O'Neill says TrueTag will launch the product within the next couple of years and should help combat the lucrative market of counterfeit drugs. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, Hawaii's news leader.